Is original Shannon and the good brother Mr. Rob. Yes, yes, Mr. Rob, Mr. Rob. That's me, baby. Yo, so when when we came up with this podcast and I was saying to you that I wanted to do it, nice. you know, the reason why I put it together is for a number of reasons. One, because yo, my wife said I talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <sir. laughs> so yeah, I figured I should do something productive with it. Right. But the other reason why is because to me it's like, yo, as a dude that's getting a little bit older. It's like the same shit, just different day, you know, like... It's a good conversation, man. You know, one, one thing, and not to sound crazy, but men don't do that no more. Have a great conversation. My, my wits and your wits, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're sharpening each other's tools and be able to use lexicon and languages, whether it's hip-hop, whatever thing. We'll, we'll go through so many different cadences, yeah. and you'll start to see it, but we... But open to one another, to learn from one another, and not feel like it's always a competition. Yeah, no doubt. You know what I mean? Competition is what starts growing people in their egos. Mm. And everyone's bravado now. And people yeah. got to just chill and just be yourself, man. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when you said, said, it's a podcast. I said, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I, I, I think I see where he's going with this one. Yeah. But no, nah, nah. this, this is a dope idea, man. Yeah, so yo, let's let's get right into it. First and foremost, where you at with the coronavirus shit? You know, let me tell you something, bro. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not a seasoned vet, but I'm old enough to know, you know, how how things operate, how we live, how things are functioning on this planet. And I'll be honest with you, it's it, it should be taken serious. All all of them should be taken serious. I don't even. It was Ebola, West now. Pay hey, attention to it. You know what I'm saying? Even though <laughs> they curved us with, with those two, but always adhere to it. Pay attention to see if it really is what it is. Because, you know, if, if, if we may not know much about our history in this country, they use shit like that in certain instances, man. They have the capability and the muscle enough to put something out like that and make it into what it is. Yeah, it's it's all. That's why it's always written in books, and people say because they they know what the country. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now nah, I'm right there but with you. What it, what it is doing though? They got everything on hold, brother. Everything is like, Err. yeah, like someone just hit the brakes real quick. <laughs> you know what's cool? What's bug about this shit though is that it's, and and so you know people be like, yo, shit's conspiracy theory. But if you think about, like. Now the terms you hear, you hear shit like now it's common for people to say social distancing, right? Prior to this, we probably thought about social distancing, but did you have you you never heard people talk so openly about like yo we need to have social distancing? But you know, I tell you this though, my wife says it a lot. She say even when she get on the line at BJ's, sometimes people write on her back. It's like yo son, you need that give personal me a space. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's where this personal space, not yeah. social distancing. They need people need more personal space. Because a lot of times, people are so much in a rush, they want you to hurry up. Mm. It's like, yo, take your time, I ain't, why, where are you going? Yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? And people get into that panic. And, and this is really, really what, what Corona has done, is put people in a panic and in a fear. Mm. And from a health perspective, keeping it real, when, when you got that fear running in your body as adrenaline, it's, it's chemical in your body, you got that running 24 hours a day, and you lowering your immune system yeah. automatically. Yeah, so. that shit gets you sick real quick. That yeah. alone. Yeah. Before was, you go touching knobs and touching your face, yeah. you're already susceptible because 
You're not even getting. That's why I like sitting in the sun. Yeah. You know what I mean? That energy, that boost. You feel it. Some when you when you can sit there, and the sun, and you fit. You know it's hot right there. Like that's just <laughs> hot. Although the rest of your body is cold, you be like, yeah, it's. <laughs> All right. Yo, you know black people are always lacking in vitamin D. Yeah, yo, son. <laughs> we, I, we, become, yo, we become cave dwellers, man. Everybody want to be in the house. And it's not a bad thing to be in the house. There are things out there that may prevent you from wanting to be out there. I get it. But we live on a planet. You yeah. just, I actually tell people this all the time. We're not just from the Bronx. We live on a planet, B. Yeah. I, um, I'm just thinking like... like the, the shift that the coronavirus is going to make people do. Like, I was, the other day, I was talking to my mom, and my mom was like, yo, you know, um, I need you to run some errands for me. You know, granted, right. you know, right, right, the right, right. You got the time. time is free. Yeah, you know, so, um, the stuff she was asking me about, she was like, you know, it was like shit related to banking and stuff like that. And in my mind, I'm like, yo, wait a minute, banking? Like, yo, you don't, you don't bank online? Or, right. you know, how you call it? And she was like, nah, I don't, you know, I don't bank online. I don't pay my bills online. And she's like, I want you to pick up money orders and all this stuff. So I'm, wow. mind, I'm like, damn, like, yo, you really still wow. keeping it, mom's keeping still it old on, school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But she still keep her receipts, too, yeah. from when she can take facts. it to the, <laughs> to the she, get, she get the post office money orders. Those are the official Facts, jobs. facts, yo. But so that, that got me thinking. Wow, she's like, still on it like that. Yeah. Yo, but, but, you, you, but you know what, what I believe that's from? People, you know, there's one thing about lifestyle. People feel like we're, we're creatures of habit and pattern. Mm -hmm. So we'll get into a rhythm. Once it works, I change it. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I think coronavirus is going to take a lot of people out of their comfort zone. It already and has. Or, or, <laughs> yo, but or, think about how much, people how much going shit crazy. about being automated, though. Like, yo, like. And, now, I, and, and, this is, and this is how programming works. You got to put a halt to what's already got people so enamored. So now... We have to give you this wow factor. This is the same thing I told people, in my in my humble opinion, about 9-11. They still ain't tell me there was a plane that hit the Pentagon. Just, why? There's no wheel. There's no window. <laughs> there's a plane, right? Yeah. Where's the debris, my nigga? <laughs> the, 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 the they disintegrate. The propaganda. So, <laughs> but, you know, but they, 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 make it, they make it where a part of the agenda is keeping it real, birth control and keeping numbers at a certain period. There's a lot of people on the planet. Mm -hmm. You know Population what I'm saying? Control. And you know, and that, that that ties into the food industry and all that other stuff where food is being made so cheaply by people all catching cancer. There's all sorts of things tied into that. Yeah, yeah. And it's giving people now with with it, it being here now this 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 virus is giving people opportunity to chill. That's one of the Check best, yourself. Best, the best qualities. What you got going yeah. on? Yeah, that's one you, of the best qualities. Nothing stops you. You can't go to the store. You can't go. Yeah. <laughs> if this ain't a pause button, yeah. what? Yeah, that's, that's, that's one of the best qualities, yo. But exactly what you said. Like, people become conditioned for so long to do things certain ways. And so don't realize the planet is always moving. This it, is a planet we on. It's always yeah. ever changing. So and you should be evolving. Right with yeah. it. Yeah. But yo, check this out. I'm gonna, yo, I'm gonna fuck you up with this. On, on how you call it, at our business, we recently shifted from people do people doing um paperwork right. to an automated system. And right. we had people that was dead up that had been with us for years quitting their job because they was yeah. like they wanted to continue to do paperwork instead of doing the automated shit on the computer. So it's like a huge people shift for free. people to move. Some people are free to touch a computer. Oh, that's yo, that that it's yo, they spread if, if they <laughs> hit that button right there, everything is blowing up. So. Yeah, yeah. Now well, what and this and this is I always talk about the mind and all I'm a weird dude, son. It's funny you got me on this podcast. <laughs> You're gonna bring out some shit in me like yo, master's bugging. Now you gonna call me master. They ain't gonna master on his shit. But listen, man, anything you tell this thing up here to do, it will do it. Anything, whether wrong or right. Mm hmm you believe in it enough? I said that literally. In it enough? You believe in it enough, and with enough belief behind it, like yeah, this is true. Sure enough, it's gonna show up, man. Oh yeah. I don't care what it is, yeah. and 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 tying into the corona, applying the fear. So when they do suggest something, it's easy for me to be like, oh wow, yeah, that's gonna work. Mm. So now they gonna come with the band aid now. Yeah, yeah. 
Cats is about that. Well, is it, that's another thing. Like I think out of this, but it's serious. Some it's money it's knocking made. Italy out the water. Mm. Are they, it's true though. Are they saying in China though that they don't have any cases reported still? Like that everything is all good. What I'm hearing, what I what I've heard, honestly, I heard I heard a, a, a recording. I'm not sure what it is you know recording from an a, a Asian student out there, and she was telling you, yeah, it's we're good over here, but some of the things you may not know about it that you may need to know is you know certain things like always wash your hands, always wash your hands. Shit that Stop we drinking. Believe that people should be doing to begin Stop with. Stop drinking cold beverages and drink warm beverages because if you have any mucus in your chest. You want it to go into your belly with all the acid that break that shit up so mm -hmm. you can shit it out. Mm -hmm. That's where you want it to get to your stomach. Because yeah. while it's where people ain't breathing, it's stuck right here. Mm -hmm. And once, and if you know anything about mucus, once it attaches, brother, the membranes, it's hard to get that yeah. up there. You be coughing that shit out for weeks. Yeah. So, you know, for those that, <clears throat> you know, vegetarian, vegans out there, you know, you're not supposed to eat no dairy products. Nothing where milk or that, that, that mucus is going to build up. You know what I'm saying? Drink water, but drink warm water. Mm -hmm. Or drink your teas. Drink something warm with anything that's caught up in your chest, it get flushed out. Yeah. You think as a result of this, though, people going to change like their eating habits? Well, uh, let me say, check this out, though. I don't think so. I think they wait, they wait for someone to like, and just say go. I can go right back and eat the way I was... <laughs> Yo, <laughs> today I will say though that today is the first day in a habits, minute though man. that we that we actually ate like ate out from out but we've been you know and every day we got a long commute but we've been coming in and you know getting on the pots and stuff like that as a result Which, of yo, let me tell you what I what I learned from Janelle shouting out my wife Nell's kitchen about when she's in the kitchen she's she is in a zone so it just looked like it's like she's meditating in a sense she's just she know what she wants to do. She pulls it out. She brings everything out, and she goes in. And you sit there and be like, ah, damn, look at this shit here, son. You, sure you got a smog? <laughs> it's just food all over the fucking place. Smog is <laughs> Yo, on a regular, like you know, we can't just cook small, like. But not. Nah, but you can see it in a passion. Then I liken her, and then you then you watch other chefs, and how they do it. You can tell it's the way. They give to it. And I hear sometimes, for some people, it is like meditation. Yeah. You're handling food. Yeah. This is, this, this is therapeutic. Just, it's an yeah, art. Yeah, that's an art to it. So. Yeah, it's therapeutic. It's, it's, it's an art to it. No. But that could, that also comes from all people cooking with love. Right, right, right. No. What people need to know about Corona is that don't take it lightly. Just keep it real. Don't take nothing like this lightly, especially when you deal with these demons out here. Don't take none of that shit lightly. Yeah. And keep in mind that... Just the fear alone, you know, impairs your body with a lot of different things. Inflammation, all sorts of shit, man. Just yeah, fear, man. Yeah. Fight or flight, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it can really twist you up. And it, and it just removes you just from cognitive just cognitive thinking. Just being clear-minded, clear mm -hmm. thought, because you're worrying if you're going to touch some more cough, you got to duck. They can argue. If someone even spit on you, you got to jerk. All sorts of... I, I know some people that can really get in their own head. Yo, the, um, and they'd be like, last, son. Last, last night, Iron Legend was on. And then the other night, Outbreak was on. So you think about it, like this, here's the networks playing this shit in a time of need and knowing what people want. You know what people yo, you go on out here. Yo, you go on Netflix and the trending, the trending movie is Contagion. <laughs> really, niggas? Like, yeah. I get it, but e even... Even in Hollywood, son. Hollywood throw you a bone yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. That's the whole definition of Hollywood. You know that, right? That's the Holly. Holly, the Hollywood tree is the one that the the, the Merlins use. <laughs> Crazy, ain't that some shit? Yeah. The um, yo, this economy shit though. You see that now? The whole thing is everybody waiting for their stimulus check. But yo, I'm, the shit that got me bugging with the stimulus check but is they, first of all that's they extended just, it to the fifteenth. It's, it's a lot. It's capped. So they gonna they gonna cap. The um bread. They talking about every adult under every adult I think that makes either I heard it was either sixty eight thousand okay. or ninety nine thousand supposed to get a check for a thousand dollars. And every the kid stim the stimulus? supposed to get five hundred. Yeah. yeah, it's supposed to, it's supposed to be a stimulus package. So what we'll fuck my head up is like, all right, so we gonna everybody gonna get this bread or people gonna get this bread. But the reality shout, of it is like shout out to Andrew Yang. They put a little Andrew Yang out of there, a thousand dollars. See yeah, how, yeah, see yeah. See how that came plausible? <laughs> But when he was running for president, nobody liked to. Yeah. Shout out to you, Andrew Yang. 
Yang gang. Yo. But so, so here's the crazy shit. Everybody get this bread. What mm -hmm. they gonna do with the bread? Is, is people still gonna be out buying Jordans and shit and, and getting the Yeezys or or what? Like, yo, what people gonna do with the money? Are people really gonna hold it and pay their landlords? Um, pay off their utilities? I, 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 I pray whatever they do, they just do right with it. That's my that's my prayer. You do right with it. And if you don't, <laughs> and you know, it, it so it it goes to show you some people some people are hard driven. To be and do what they want to do. Or got certain, a straight consumer mentality. Certain circumstances are not going to change them. Yeah. Know? I want to see who going to be the sad. first person that's going to fuck up the stimulus bag. <laughs> you know it's <laughs> coming. Blow the and stimulus the cameras bag. is waiting, son. Because it's going to be a <laughs> meme and a half, son. No, the, the, speaking of memes, you've seen the meme online. Uh, um, Trump, that said, it, it has something crazy like, I'm, I'm sending out the stimulus check. But before I send out the stimulus check, I'm going through everybody's social media. That put hashtag not my president. Oh, <laughs> you see that? That's he said, "Yo, I went and checked all your niggas. Insult you, was insult you with right? stimulus check." I remember what you said in the comments. Oh, I, see, I think I seen one when they was. They said um, it was bidding. Trump going a thousand. Bernie going three. <laughs> Biden going five. Who? who who's next? Yeah. I was see. Shit's gonna be tri trillions of dollars. And, 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 and this is this is our nation, man. This is our nation. This is, this is what but we call yo, home. Yo, here's the other crazy shit though. Think about it. all this is coming around what time of the year? Income tax refund time, right? So people get in their income tax refund bag. They about to get the stimulus bag, yeah. and gonna fuck up all that money. Right now, I bet you flat screens is flying off the shelf. Son, flat screens. What's in right now? Flat screens, Jordans. Um, hard to, the real hard to find Jordan. iPads. They, they, they killing Jordan. Jordan, yo, you see the Jordans? I seen some green. Oh, it's just that look like Air Max. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Mike ain't been in the league. <laughs> and this nigga still selling. He the most sell out shoe. He yep. even in the league. Yo, but that, that ain't look, even no league. And niggas still buying. Jordan. That's that speak to the point though. Like, yo, no, I just original. Original. think about it. Only yo. The, the Jordans that come out, people ain't checking for the brand new shits. All the Jordans that's coming out that's popping is the Jordans that was out years ago that they just recycling. They ain't even creating new shoes. They just so, keep putting the so same my, shit back out so and selling they it. They just got a crayon and they just put colors where you never thought colors would be. Yeah. I'm the other part of this. Because they got crazy colorways. I'm like, wow. They yeah. really, they just, somebody just went they, they crayon got, If they got the um the Nike Lab shit online though, where you could create whatever put up whatever mm -hmm. colors you want on like Air Force and all I've that. I've done that before. Yeah, I've done and, that. I put Master Rob on the side of my <laughs> shoe. I played myself, and yeah. and never never went back to it. But <laughs> it's in there. I got I got a, a Nike account. <laughs> I did that dumb shit. Yeah, think about this though. Here's something though, for real, for real, with the coronavirus, right? So, we had um. You know, we live in this, this digital age where social media really has taken away, like, that one-on-one -on -one interaction, right? And and, and check it out. News. Like, yo, we was talking a little bit earlier. Like, when we was kids, we was getting up, going outside, interacting with people and everything. That now, was your news. Your news is going to the park because everyone was at yeah, the park. Yeah. So you seen, heard, even if you walk by something, you caught something. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Social media got people stuck. And it's all... Yeah, I remember... Keeping it real, this is maybe 07, 08. I just happened to be watching PBS, right? And there was a program called on there called The Nature of Play. It's the name of the program. And it showed the difference and where kid where life was gone because of the screen. Now the kids are so attached to the screen. Mm -hmm. You had a kid who went outside and would be playing in these bushes all day, looking for bugs and shit and all that. And there's a kid in the house. He ain't coming outside. Mm -hmm. And the difference was how much this kid mastered his environment. He knew what potholes were, with lakes, with water, yeah. streams, and all this. Cause, and this kid didn't know anything. But whatever he brought in his house, he'll go look up, look it up online and become this whiz kid sitting in the house. <laughs> and but it, have no interaction yeah. with nature. Yeah. <laughs> And then you know what the, the other shit about is the person that's out in the out in the community though their immune system is stronger because they've been yeah, exposed to everything. The sun, yeah. Construction workers, um, um, postal workers, they are, postal workers out there, all fucking all five, 
all nine elements. <laughs> <laughs> they out there every fucking day. That male, <laughs> let me tell you something. You as post office ain't playing, son. That male be out there, yo. Yeah. So, but, so you got, but check it out. So you have now where people are confined to the house. You know people still gonna be on social media, but the wild shit is that now people actually forced to in, you forced to interact with your loved ones, mm-hmm. right? So that's not necessarily a bad thing because now people are actually devoting time and energy to spending quality time with loved ones. I tell you this in my crib, we ain't, we ain't turned the TV on yet. That's good. Everyone is everyone's in their own zone, their own pocket. Like whatever they're doing, whether it's homework, reading a book, Janelle is working. I'm studying. You, had, you gave me shit to do right here. I, I was like, oh, shit, I got homework. I got shit I got. So, and, yo, and, and keeping it real, this is always my wheelhouse. If you go through this book, it's other stuff I done wrote. Just, yo, son, I'm a knowledge seeker. You know what I'm saying? And I learned that early on, man. As long as you got knowledge, you got a foundation. I don't care where you go on this world. And that will take you anywhere in this world. Yeah. And nobody can and take it away no from one, you. Once it's yours, it's yours, yeah. son. So yeah. always be, always be a thirst for, it, have a quench for, it because the shit that's gonna come out is amazing if you just give it time, man. So <clears throat> stuff like this, I was like, damn. I went to my books. Yeah, I mean, I actually, I actually opened up a book I had. I was gonna bring it too. Should have brought and, it. And it, <laughs> and it, and it, and it, no, it talked, it talked about biochemical warfare. How do you? how these bastards have the right to do shit because we're still looked at as not citizens Man. they don't look at it they we stay I, I think they not even i think they think we are still three-fifths of a human yeah that's a fact if the if, if you can tell by all of the all of the crime and the police brutality that's been going on you know what i mean since since a while so um yeah isn't it you know what the what's bug is that like i always tell my son you know we I think we lose sight of how, you know, civ- like, motherfuckers was fighting for civil rights less than a hundred years ago. Like, you, yo, yeah. that, that shit is, uh, that's mind-boggling to me or whatever. And then I think that they feel like, yo, well, we threw you a bone. You had a black president, you know. But to me, like, when you start talking about racism and all that shit, like, and that shit is a still in full effect. And, you know, and while we on, this, this could be a good way to segue to Jay Electronica's album because when we talk about civil rights and you know the things our parents and grandparents had to actually bear witness to at a time where we wasn't giving a shit they didn't white counters colored counters they actually had to bear they had no say so or yeah. nothing legislation and all the type of things had to go through before they even had to speak yeah. and then when we got the opportunity to speak it was like all of a sudden, oh, black people can't just get their rights. I.e., that's when some of the Caucasian women started to get into their women's rights because mm-hmm. they were just as taken aback as we were. Marginalized. Not nearly as much as us, but they, <laughs> nah, <laughs> but they, they, they were marginalized as well. Caucasian man did not like, he wanted, to, he was the man, son. And he ran this planet, he ran this planet. So I, I say all that to say, you know, we have to look deep in our history and, and, and see what what in history has worked for black people. You know, and, you, and if you dig, dig if you dig deep enough, you can go as, as deep as 1920 with Black Wall Street and the what was actually created, son. Mm-hmm. People had their own bus services. They had their own air. Come on, son. They had their own planes. Yeah. They had their own hospitals. Yeah. The, the, those, those, are Im- those are images. I'm, and even for that to have happened and it taken, it taken down the way it was taken, but for us to even still have an image of that. And I liken that, but also to, you know, Jay Electronica, who, you know, his. His 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 following coming through the nation of Islam is just what Elijah taught. Mm-hmm. Separation, my nigga. Yeah. Do for yourself. Yeah. And and if that doesn't come out of what this coronavirus is showing us is that listen, man, we you gotta take care of yourself. Learn how to grow some food. You know what I mean? Yeah. Actually, actually, what is your body? Know the environment you're in. Like I tell people. We're in radio waves, microwaves, 
this wave, they got this 5G <laughs> shit, yeah, zapping yeah, niggas yeah. out. What wave you in? You can't, you. <laughs> everybody riding the wave. Everybody riding the wave. <laughs> Come on, man. <clears throat> yeah. So, be so, cognizant, so. It, but, um, high quality, because you bring up a good point, before we talk about the black, um, the J Electronica joint, the, um, the black agenda for the presidential campaign, we finally narrowed it down to two, to tell, two, tell me, two tell me people. something about that, because there, that there, there apparently is a black agenda. There, there's a guy I follow, follow on YouTube. His name is Philip, Philip something, like he got a shock show. He got a little podcast show, but he, he, he interviews the elders. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like Lennon Jeffries and Dr. Um, uh, what's her name? Dr. De, De, De Groy or something. Like, yeah. Um, th those elite, them people who know our history, son, mm -hmm. who know the treacherousness that we went through. Like, they tell the stories they tell you, be like, what the fuck, son? Man. You know what I mean? He has a show on there, and he had a couple of elders in there, and they were talking, and, and it was about the black agenda, and I didn't get a chance to get into it. So, what is our agenda? Because if you ask me, what's a black agenda for me? It's always going to be knowledge of self, do for self, do for your own and for your family. Mm -hmm. Use your family. Your family should be your family. Your household should be ran like a corporation. Mm -hmm. Everyone should have a responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's how you keep things in order and clean because it's an organization. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get up on time. You know, my kids don't know that they love sleep. They abuse sleep. Like, <laughs> I know it's free, but damn, son. I be trying to tell them prayer is better than sleep. They love sleep. I get it, they're young. But, you know, I operate with getting up early. I have to, when that sun is, when it's out, and it come through the curtain, the sun. Yeah. I'm old school. That's what I'm saying. That's, window, a, that's, a, that's a different type of discipline. You know what I mean? And I can sit there before I even go, just let that hit me for a little minute. Then go take care of my day. I'm energized now. I'm going to make my breakfast. Yeah. At 7.30, and I'm up and dressed. I ain't... <laughs> Yeah. You know? Yeah. But but check it out. So for when you I don't know if you caught any of the debates, but I lit, I watched maybe two of the debates. And during the debates, anytime they talk about anything related to black agenda, it's always reparations. There's never any kind of plan on how reparations would be doled out. It's just the key word, it's the hot button phrase that they throw out, oh right, you know, reparations. And mind you, not all the candidates that was on the um on the dais actually was talking about reparations so if you think about think about for folks that um lgbt right mm -hmm. lgbt had an agenda their agenda was we want equality we want to be able to get married for black people i don't know if we have done enough to get to politicians to help politicians actually understand like this is the agenda this is what we want as people of color or maybe we have and they just not listening if we a real, real agenda should be economic based do i have access to loans can i start a business where can i get yeah. land well you know what the crazy shit is bloomberg bloomberg actually was one of the few people where can i get land out. can i go buy a warehouse can if they, are these warehouses for sale can i get coolio in them and go fit can i buy this building yeah that's yeah. that that to me if we're talking about an agenda and if they're looking for reparations, because what, what do people think when you hear reparations? A check. A check. Yeah. Money. We're not good with money. We give it right back. Exactly. So That should be another stimulus package. It, 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 that's just, and I, we have yet to learn not to give it right back. Or Even, we yeah, haven't I'm, learned I'm, how to and circulate and I'm learning that, each other. I'm, I'm learning that now. My wife works in the financial industry, and she she's around a lot of people, and she was like, yo, you don't have to. Money is a tool. Mm -hmm. You don't use it to burn it up. Soon as you get in your hand, it's on fire. You yeah, just gotta go yeah, spend it. Yeah. And it's because you, know, you you become attached to consumerism and how you're looking. You don't just. And you know what the people that's wealthy do? They don't spend their money. They spend other people's money. They spend other people's money. But Bloomberg's plan outlines something like that. It was talking about how do we create small businesses for people of color. You know how do we um, free up more home ownership loans and, you know, ensure that people were able to get mortgages and things like that. Like, he at least threw something on the table. Now, the crazy shit is Bernie Sanders is viewed as being 
the person most far left and most liberal do, but we still I still haven't heard from Bernie Sanders yet, like a comprehensive plan. Like, what is it that you intend on doing for black people? And the, the reason why I think we don't hear it is because Democrats for years what, have what, felt like... What, what is he saying? Well, his thing right now is mostly, he's mostly on the free health care. I fuck okay. with him on that. I fuck with him on that because I believe that everybody should have the right to health care. But as far as from a standpoint, and of course, you know, he's very so he's, much... So he, he wants to establish that people are healthy. He wants to, yeah. I fuck with him on that. People, you want to keep... Because in, in, in the health care industry, you know, because, you know, the people who know me personally know I'm going through what I'm going through. It, it, trust me, man. Me, Janelle and I bear witness based on the coverage that you have versus the coverage that you don't have depends on the type of service you get. Oh, that's sometimes. a fact. Yeah. Yeah, I know and that. We bear me. witness to that. Yeah. She's like, damn, Rod, if, if you didn't have, you know, working for a Fortune 500 company, we had some of the best insurance. So when I came in and flashed that car, and it was like, oh, yeah. Car blanche. Yo, bring, <laughs> yo, bring the cherries. So you need the champagne bottle. <laughs> you know, it was like, come hey, on, son, they got yeah. you up there. <clears throat> but then you go to another hospital where they think you, you're, you're on welfare or something like that, or you're just down and out. They give you the shittiest treatment. Oh, my God, yeah. son. I remember, I remember going to a hospital one time, and they already know I'm a renal patient. I was told to come to the emergency room. I got there at 3 o'clock. I ain't get a bed to midnight. This was, where was this at? In the hood? In, in University of Maryland. In oh, Baltimore. shit. Baltimore. Wow. Right with all the junkies and everything. Son, it was crazy. And I'm like, I'm sitting there. I'm sitting and I'm in, in, and they're beating, and you know they're walking back and forth. You talk about coronavirus. I'm immune to that shit, son. <laughs> son that shit is bouncing off of me right now. Yo. It repels. You know what I'm saying? Light repels, nigga. Son, so the yo, son, it, it's healthcare is just another beast. But if that, he gotta come better than that. If he, I mean, if he, if he, but you see, think but, you think but, see, but, 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 but this, is, this is also the same thing. Right along with spending money, we got bad fucking health habits, man. That's a fact. Like, yeah. And that goes to what we eat. Yeah, that's a fact. They go, they go hand in hand. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. What you put in your mouth. Versus what you put in your head, so you feed yourself the same way. Yeah, and some of that I think also is attributed to what we can actually afford. What's in our community, you know? What's what's what my pockets is looking does. like? Yeah. I can only yeah. get a chopped cheese. Yeah, McDonald's got a I dollar menu. I can't go buy a steak right now. I can only get a chopped cheese. Wait, McDonald's got a dollar menu. Chopped what you, what you can get from Whole Foods for a dollar? Oh my God, son! Some two picks, <laughs> <laughs> if that, <laughs> if that. But yeah, so maybe about two oranges, if, uh, maybe I don't, I don't, an orange. That's what I say. Maybe one. You ain't one getting two. Orange, yeah. Like uh, a half a tangerine. A fucking lemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but nah, there's there's really not. If you think about it though, like as black people and Latinos too, like yo, we've you, you given ever seen that post away, I man. put up there when it showed you? Where's my phone, son? Yeah, we we giving our we just giving our vote away, and we don't make people work for we don't actually tell them like all right so what is it that you intend on doing for people of color like there's it there's just there's no energy put into that it's just a given that whoever the democrat is black people gonna vote him in you know and i think as time goes by you know i know people that's like trump supporters and i'm like yo you're a trump supporter but what i res what i Listen, respect about it is people vote their interests know this money is currency. What is the prefix in that word current? Currency is current. Mm -hmm. Generate money. We are generators of money. That's why we spend so much money. If you know the black, yo, black America rank among the top in global economics because we spend. Mm -hmm. We don't know how to hold on to it, dog. You put that shit mm -hmm. right back. The bad thing is that the money doesn't stay in our communities Community. long enough for it to flourish. Exactly. So we can see the benefits of it. That's what needs to happen. So whatever little business that someone has, promote it, put it out there, blast them, do whatever, make that money stay here for at least thirty days. Fuck that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. some communities are short ten, twelve, whatever. 
But it don't it don't hang around us long before yeah. we give it to somebody else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's, and that's our fact. our buying power is your son. Billions of dollars. We top twenty. <laughs> But, we, dollars, but yeah. black, but black America is not a country, my nigga. Yeah, Billions we are a country, but we, what country are we claiming? Because <laughs> the one we in don't want to claim us. Yeah, yeah, nah. Keeping it real. Yeah. Come on, no. son. I I'd be interested, like in in if somebody laid out a proposal where they said, "All right, so we going, you know, will." Wipe out student loan debt or we'll, you know, we'll create some sort of program where, you know, people debt of color relief. able to get their yeah, debt relief or able to get debt mortgages re- easier debt, or something. Debt I'm, relief. I'm debt more relief. pro that than, yo, here's five, you here's gotta, five racks. Let's keep, let's keep, let's keep it all the way real. Or free college. Let's keep it all the way real. We in a country. We in a country ran by pirates, man. And because we're the booty, the catch, <laughs> they're not gonna. They it's, it's and it's and it's just as hi, as history goes on. As you, as you, there there are a few who who I won't say have made it, but they've let a couple slide that have ascended. You know what I'm saying? I look at Jay, perfect example. Jay Z, that is knowing. His background because he publicizes, he put it on wax. This is what I did, this is where I come from. And him to be at the echelon. And he said in the song, I got my own Easter. <laughs> I'm gonna tell right. a nigga that. <laughs> I'm on Easter, nigga. When niggas come in they pastels. Dress up, right? They go to rock niggas nature come in they pastels, son. <laughs> Fucking mint green shit. <clears throat> right? Here, here it is. You talking about... Uh, 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 a powerhouse of, and pop culture, iconic, and we know his story. You know what I'm saying? We, this, these are the things. These are the things we love. I'm missing my point. Going somewhere. I know I was going somewhere. <laughs> it had had to do with with, with 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 money. Oh, him, him having this money and those who are the real movers and shakers that move things. You know, it's not that you give him the pass, but what I like what Jay is doing, Jay is challenging all of the myths and mysteries that they've told us about American culture that America don't know. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what Jay Electronica is doing when he hit Rosenberg with the synagogue of Satan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's uh, that's that's removing the veil of America that no one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that, and that 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 that's costly. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's 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 I won't say it's costly, but I will say that it it, it made it, people uncomfortable. It it, it will. Yeah. It, it 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 makes people uncomfortable because that hit that that history. That's a that's a bad history, man. Yeah. I, I, and we and we and we don't want to. Nobody wants like no no one wants to. I won't say remember slavery. You don't want to. You don't wake up every day thinking you know where you've come from. Mm-hmm. And when you when you when you uh, meet some bigotry or indecency in the street because someone knows you and they, they treat you a different way, you just like well, fuck you, son. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm a person just like you. That shit terrible though. That's because we become conditioned. Yo, and to, I, to live <laughs> to live with it, yo. Yo, we so fucked up. The PTSD yes. that we got. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fact, yo. We 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 just become conditioned to live with it. So yeah, like this is therapy, man, because you allow you 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 get it. You know what I'm saying you 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 share it with the people, man. And yo, listen, man, ain't nothing new. This is this stuff that's been going on. This is, and when they say history repeats itself, ain't no new, ain't nothing new, son. Ain't yeah. no new. Yo, that the the J Elec album, I fuck with it. I love it. I, fu- I fuck with it. I, a, I know why. I know why though. Why? Why there's people that's like, ah, it ain't. It ain't for me. But I fuck with it. I fuck with it for a number of reasons. One, because I'm feeling the nation of Islam. That's one. Two. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Two. I also. I'm a. I'm a dude that yo. Yeah, real I'm, nation of yo, Islam. Yo, I'm. I'm. I'm cool. With artists being artists, like I like dudes who make music. 
and going to make music like fuck it, I'm not compromising. Right, my That's, music. Right. Or whatever. I'm gonna make my the music. Integrity. I want to. I want right. to make. Right. So he could have easily was like, you know what? I know although, people doing drill. They keep doing it real. this, doing that. And I did not like 808 Hot Break. <laughs> nah, see, so let, let me tell you. I'm just gonna keep it real for the record. That's just me. Let me tell you this. I didn't like that either. I just thought that it just caught me off guard, like. You know where it was? We wasn't ready for all that auto tuning. Nah, man. <laughs> but my ears is Did you did you ever listen did you ever listen to um the Yeezus album? The Yeezus album was it. one that had to grow on me. But that was a that was an album. Like I like when rappers make albums where they like, yo, fuck it, I'm just gonna make the shit that I wanna hear and if the and consumer that's what like Jay, it, they and that's like what, it. That's what Jay Lake did. I knew it. I felt it it was a spiritual album because just from the onset the whole set, the damn album begins to all you scared to death Negroes. Yeah. See, come on, son. Don't you You come know outside. when you put him <laughs> on the beginning of anything, if you take it way back to Cain, yeah. but Cain, the young, young black, oh young my gosh, black. Young son. Young black, yeah. You, you bugged out when yeah. that song came on. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I already know where he's going. Yeah. And then Jay to come in, and, you know, Jay's involved. I, mean, I think, Jay, I think honestly, Jay is a Mason, but... Shout out to all the Masons out mm-hmm. there, all your shiners out there. No disrespect to y'all guys. I know some good brothers that are, you know what I mean? In the lodge or whatever. And that's a whole that's a whole fraternity and understanding of itself. And that's what America's built on. Yeah. Moving like that. And that's what, in my home opinion, I know that's what gives Jay a pass in a sense because he's part of that brotherhood in a sense that they share the same philosophies and understanding yeah. on how they move. So when they see each other, they give certain handshakes yeah. as much as I'm going into. Yeah. He, but, um, he, but yo, check it out. For, so um, he can take those risks and then wearing, wearing that chain, coming out with a young dude from the FOI, the Fruit of Islam. Yeah. Listen, yeah, I've been, I've been following between five percent and they said since I was a kid. Yeah, yo, I'm from you know me, what I'm saying for for me like listening to listening to the album. I'm like, like I said, I I fuck with Jay Electronica, so I'm like, yo, all right, this this honestly is what I expected. I still and got lyrics his, out yo, of it. It's his, still here's the crazy the crazy shit though. Like before he I mean shiny suit shiny suit. I heard about it's old seven years, but ago. I still like it. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I still I still fuck with it. I still fuck with yeah, it. Yeah, uh, he look even before the album came out. People knew Jay Z was gonna be heavily featured on it, but now he getting mad backlash. I didn't like, know that. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know that. See, until, I knew. I didn't know that until it was really getting to say, "Yo, he got an album coming out soon, and coming out soon, and Jay is all over." I'm like, "What? All right, that's interesting." But he said, "It's like I, I hit the lotto. I got Jay on my first joint." Yeah. So, but Jay, Jay got demons too. That was Jay. It was one way of Jay. One dude called it um, watching the throne too. Yeah, that was Jay Way getting some of his shit off of his back too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying shit. He he he's he had the channel with you know what I mean. And like yeah. I said, it's a spiritual out. And if you know anything from a spiritual perspective, when you're dealing with the nation, that goes back to Elijah. Where I'm talking about, you know, we doing for self, man, man, woman, and child. Do for yourself and for your family, son. Mm-hmm. Regardless of what, because we live in a world where people ain't they're not worried about if you got tissue, nigga. <laughs> Ain't worrying about if you got Purell in your house. <laughs> you got chicken, nigga. Ain't worrying about that shit, son. Yeah. But you know, we come from a background where our pantry stay full. Yeah. On a regular day. So when days like this come, this is like being trapped in a snowstorm. Yeah. Yeah. Where when it really, where it really knock you down. Where electricity is gone. Yeah. And what they say, like, Come yo, on, you got to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. You don't have to get ready. Yeah, you got to stay ready. I tell you, my grandmother was collecting tissue since 87, my nigga. You go <laughs> on her pants. She got a closet. She live in a co-op. That closet that's in the kitchen, <laughs> the entire closet is bounty, my nigga. Yeah, From she, floor she to got, ceiling. You got that shit like it's wine. This is a 1987 Charmin. She's never <laughs> going out of bounty. My grandmother's oh, not going out of bounty. Yeah. The um the 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 critique though of him having Jay Z on like mostly all the songs, I think. See, exhi- you heard Exhibit C yeah. by him, yo. You know, and my, I think you know people, my wanted, joint people is? wanted to fuck with him like that my, on the Just Blaze joint. My, my favorite joint is the announcement. You remember that one? Yeah. The announcement was my. That was like damn. I really want to hear an album like that. From yeah, and now I think that's what everyone was looking for. They were looking for an album of 
10 songs like the announcement, but yeah, that's, broken that's up exactly. in different ways. Yeah. With, I'm telling you, with people, and, and our people are starting to wake up. They want to know about, they want a little bit know about these mysteries and these things that, you know, we weren't told. There's a the lot of information. There's a lot of history yeah. that you can, I know, I can see why they kept it from us. Yeah, you know what's. I don't cool. want you to yo. get. I don't want you to get that type of light. Think, think about how you call it. Like, yo, think about the evolution of Jay Z though. Jay Z went from um, telling Nas, "Your shit is garbage." What you trying to kick knowledge? And then Jay on there, all nah. type of jewels. And then even on the, Jay's last album, the four four four, Jay's dropping my, all kind of Jay, jewels. Jay's my Sagittarius, brother. We <laughs> we can be a little cocky sometimes. <laughs> so. We can we can we can take it there, man. Because he because he did every he's just. You just like that shit is crazy, son. What's your favorite joint on the album? Um, I got it. The um, the Ghost of Soldier Slim. Yeah, like that joint. Um, Fruits of the Spirit. Yeah. Ghost of Soldier Slim. Ghost of Soldier Slim. There's a few in there. There's a few in there that 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 I, that I, I, I enjoy, um, but I, I I enjoy, you know, they're, they're even like composers, certain composers just like the way they play the piano. Like I love the way Alicia Keys plays the piano versus mm-hmm. anybody else because she she can really fuck with them keys. Like yeah. she plays with them and she just bullshitting. Jay Electronica in that same sense with his cadence and wordplay and how. His his vast knowledge of just not just spirituality, metaphysics. He goes into so many different genres. Like I said, of information that is not privy to us mm-hmm. because we're not in tune to want to know that kind of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Because that takes discipline, and we're not a disciplined people. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You tell us that we gotta get in order with some shit. He just is running. <laughs> and I and I, and I and I run you a quick story. Back in '93. I went. I was living up in Utica with my man. His mom's that came to the Bronx to get us out the hood to do some just work at her store or whatever. So while we up there, um, it's kind of like two factions. You had five percent, and you had the Nation of Islam. But the store we was working in was called Motherland. It was it was operated by a brother by the name of Brother Courtney, who was mm-hmm. affiliated with the Nation of Islam. So seeing Brother Courtney every day. With the bow tie and the bean pie. It was like Final call. It was like every day, <laughs> son. In the background are uh, uh, lectures of the minister. Like every day. It was yeah. like full full bloom. And you're a young man and you just like, wow, son. I'm getting some real knowledge. And I'm coming here every day. It's almost like class in a sense. Yeah. Because in the interim, you talk. You talk about certain things. Yeah. Like, how you doing, young brother? You know, you was a shiny king. And they give you... Getting lessons. Yo, son, you're getting lessons. Yeah, you're getting and lessons. And the language is different because they're talking to you in, 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 a, in a higher cadence. They say, yo, what up, my nigga? they like, nah, king. You're exalted. Mm-hmm. You're a prince. You know what I'm saying? You, oh, shit. That shit make me feel good. Make me feel like a good new, head, new haircut. Like, <laughs> stick my chest out. So, while up there... You know, factions of five percent and, and nation of Islam. They have their their tussles, but in my opinion, I, they they share the same lessons. You know what I'm saying? To a degree, you know. And <clears throat> I remember being in there, and one of the guards was talking about the temperature in the body and how can you explain the temperature in the body and why we don't sweat at the same temperature when it's 89 degrees? Because I'm 98 degrees ahead, but how am I sweating at 85? Yeah. All sorts of stuff. And brother, one of the brothers was, he was just like, I'm here just to teach the word of the minister Farrakhan, Elijah Muhammad. He wasn't being detracted into no science <laughs> class. <laughs> and, and brothers was, and, and brothers 5% was sharp, son. You know, yo, some of the guards that go in, it, but it, it, it was a little tension, but not, it, it, it ended peacefully and we had a good time and brothers, you know, just, and then just pull each other's leg or whatever. But um, but at the end, they ask if you want to join. I stood up. And I got up there and I punked out. I said, nah, nah, nah. nah. What, what, made you, what made you punk out? Because I, I wasn't, I was, what, 93? How old was I? 22, 23 or something like that? I just felt like 
I was just ready. a jump. I wasn't ready. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I didn't even get a license yet. <laughs> I, mean, I wasn't driving. I had just came up here from New York. And he respected it. And I, and I, but I, I made friends with the nation up, up in Syracuse. I think it was um, maybe with Moss 5 or something like that up in Syracuse. But I made friends. I made another brother by the name Brother Diallo. He was born into the nation. I went to Savior's Days. I used to go to nice. the Moss on Sundays and see how they interact. All the sisters on one side, yeah. all the brothers on one side. I went to the minister's house to have dinner. Wow. For all, all the sisters in the kitchen. Yo, they made carrots taste like fucking candy games, my nigga. <laughs> it's a whole different meal. But I got I got to bear witness how they live. Not just outside with the bean pies and all yeah. that. How they conduct business. You go on to someone's home. It's a pure respect, man. Yeah. It's like no one's raising their voice. Everyone's in a calm. And, and you got to just say, they know something. Yeah. And what is it that... The they teachings that, that they get, yeah. and let me tell you something. I bear witness to the teachings from you know those are the five percent. Also bear witness to the teachings of um, the supreme wisdom. supreme wisdom, and they're pretty much the same. It's just some things are worded kind of differently. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I, one 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 I can I I, I I know in my mind is um I think it's a student enrollment the first degree. Who was the original man? I think in some lessons it just says he's the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet Earth, God of the universe. But then there's other ones that say the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet Earth, father of civilization, God of the universe. You know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> you know that that one lesson always stuck with me. Mm. And for for years. I just always kept that in the back of my mind, like, oh shit. So this this mm -hmm. is what Elijah was getting told. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yo, yeah, yo, listen, man, and if if you ever get a chance to listen to Savior's Day, nineteen seventy four, and listen to his economic program, this man had his own trucking services going to all of his mosques and I all of his restaurants, all. Yeah, I had to check that out. Cause you know, how does one man do save, all that? Save your day. Um, you can stream it. Yeah, you know, I mean, Yeah, it. man. <laughs> Is this a classic album? Yo, let me tell you something. Like I said, for black people, I know we got the church, but I I know the truth between Christianity, and those are the type of things you learn when you're in those in these environments who open up these 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 different ways of knowledge. Like, mm -hmm. yo, son. And you, you feel like, yeah, we've been duped. We've been hit over the head. Maybe something could be different, right? Now, and I, like I said, now it makes sense why they would keep information like that from me. I ain't going to tell you that shit. So you could be here feeling powered. And yeah, son. <laughs> so you now now when, I, when I, 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 I tell you I walk this planet and I look at these, these devils in their face like, and they, feel it, and they feel it coming right off me. You don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I, I'm it's uh and you see this dude he ruffled Peter Rosenberg feathers, he ruffled his feathers right out the gate, first track, first track on the album right after the intro. That's when you hit him with the line. Peter you Rosenberg, you it's a Peter Rosenberg album? is saying, I know I know that's referring to us, but why you gotta bring it up? And he's like, I didn't bring it up. It's in the New Testament, my nigga. Yeah. That's, That's been there. Why you gotta we let we we live every day uncomfortable. Why you gotta say something that make me feel uncomfortable? Because Peter Rosenberg know the truth. Mm. He know he ain't a real Jew. <laughs> He's not. They're not. They're not, brother. That's yeah. just. That's just what it is. And in Scripture, it's showing you. It's telling you right there that you're not. Yeah. The real Jews don't look like them. And it's not even being racist or anything like that. Original Jews from Ethiopia, they're Hebrews. They look like us, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that and that 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 part about our history that we need to really hold, not even hold on tight. Just know that that's yours. You're the first people on the planet. These new dudes here that's running the planet, they newcomers. Mm -hmm. They very new. 
And we, we've shown them, and this is the thing, <clears throat> because I noticed when going up into Europe, when the moors was going up in there, they was going there with their nose covered and having soap to hand white man because he was living with his animals and in sleeping filth. with him. He's in yeah. filth. Yeah. So as I'm as I'm coming to say peace to you, I got soap. Clean up yourself before I can teach you other ways. <laughs> yeah. And we showed him away, but then he turns it against us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And got us, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Forgetting about who we are, why we are, yeah. who our God is, and all that stuff, son. Yeah. I, you hoodwinked me once. Oh, <laughs> uh, you, you how many how many times you listen to the album? It's because it's a quick listen. The, the album you know, gotta be like thirty minutes long. I listen to long. that. I listen to, but I go through a lot of different things. My playlist is crazy because Jada just dropped the album, and so did Royce. I haven't. I started listening to. You like Allegory. Royce? I see. Yeah, I started listening to. I probably listen to like the first three tracks. Jada's album, I listened to maybe two tracks. I haven't gone all the way through it. Um, it's, a, it's a quality album. I like Jada's junk. Yeah, I like Jada too. Jada's like he—he's what he's definitely one of my favorite rappers. But I also feel like his subject material is starting to really sound the same. So that's probably the reason why I'm like. And plus, the the me song grew on me. At first, I was like, oh, mm-hmm. all right, you know, it grew on me. So I got to give him a listen. But I, I'm, I'm like gonna Hunt, definitely listen to Royce like first. Hunting season with Pusher. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. That's yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, but that's, I like push it though. That's that dart school, son. Yeah, I like I like push it though. I like when you throwing them darts. Yeah, I, I, I fuck with push. I like push it. So that yeah. video was hot too. I ain't even see. I didn't even know they had video yeah, for video it. For that. Yeah, yeah, that shit is hot. Yeah, I, for the, for for this um J Electronic album though, I definitely see. I hope that. What this you rating? Give me a rating. Out of a, what we talking about? One to five. One to ten. One to ten. One to ten. I would say. I'll say a seven and a half. I don't have it as a classic album. No. And the reason why I don't have it as a classic album, and oddly enough, it has it's some art. of the characteristics as a, as a classic album. Because to me, it has replay value. Yeah, it's art. It, it's, it's art. I, I, I love to know that a, a piece of work is there, that when I want to get in that mood and just... You could just go back to it. I go right yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just let it play. Yeah. I listened to the album probably like four or five times already. Mm-hmm. And as I continue to listen to it, I'm like, yo, all right, this is... It, it, it has that feeling. I like it even more and more, but I don't have it as a classic album. I say it's seven and a half because I know, like, J, to me, Jay Electronica has the ability to, lyrically, he has the Listen. ability to take his shit even further. So I'm just, so to me, that was just like, anytime that was I, an appetizer. Anytime to me. I listen to the announcement, just that beat and. Got these little fucking kids playing in the background. All this, all the shit he uses yeah. as effects to put and the wordplay and the things that he's. Yeah, I'm he like, produced most of the album too. You know, that, I right? love MCs like that. I love MCs like that. I love MCs. Black thought, black thought. That they, like black when they thought. when they use words, they're they're blending them in such a way that they're structuring shit. Mm-hmm. They're not just they're not just telling you, they're building a story and the story is but it's also opening to some shit that you already you should know already. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Know your history, son. Uh um the reason why yeah, the reason why I wouldn't say a classic though is because I, I think he has the ability to take it to another level. I, I think he will. You know, my my knock this might on set Jay up is for sophomore. Been, that's what I was about to say. My knock on Jay is like, I, yo, he just got he got a push. Now watch now there. watch come May. He just hit him with a. I'm, I'm, yo, I'm and they got I'm just blaze all over it. Yo, I'm, yo, I'm here for it. The, I mean, I don't want to hear him all just blaze. I like him on just nah. blaze, but I don't want to hear everything but just blaze. Give him the classes. Give him the just blaze. He yeah. had a no ID on there. He had a swizz, which to me, he loves the swizz. The swizz yeah, I, li- I, like him, I like him on Dilla's, Dilla's music. Yeah. Who else? He sounds is, real um, good with Dilla's music. Let me see. Who else could he get? I like to see him with Alchemist. He had he, Alchemist did one joint on there. Yeah, I forget. Yeah, yeah I forget he joined there, but Alchemist, yeah, Alchemist did a joint on there. He Alchemist, sure Alchemist joint, I think maybe like just like a straight loop or something on there, you know. And that's that's another thing that I appreciate about the album. Like this, there's a simplicity of it, right? Where it's like you, it's it's a to me it's an easy listen. It's like he didn't try to get out there and be something that he wasn't because. These niggas listen to the radio. He could have easily been like, yo, what's hot on the radio right now? 
So by him having Hove on there, I think he figured like, yo, I already got the audience. I could just I could just make my music and let the consumers See, that, consume that was the a music. Move. Yeah. What happened to Jay on there was a move. Yeah. That wasn't like, he's my favorite rapper and I want him to rhyme with me. <laughs> yo, but here's the other thing that everybody keeps talking about. Um, everybody is like, they feel like Jay smacked him around on the album. What do you think? I don't have no thought on that. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. I mean, I, that, I, I heard Joe Budden say that. Jay smash up on you know, shit. <laughs> but, I don't know. After you, if you listen, if you listen to Cause it. Like, cause, cause like I said, coming from me thinking this uh, this is this was his, 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 his spiritual work. This was him. It don't matter what Jay did. Mm -hmm. You know, Jay, Jay better come hard because that's Jay Electronica. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's only, there's only one other dude I know who, no, he, he, I think he may have dropped two internet albums. You ever heard of Deep Prosper? Mm -mm, no. This dude. I, I actually, I was thinking, I was like, that's Jay Electronica's alter ego because <laughs> his cadence for words Similar? is just like him. But it's but it it was something different, and then there's a song with both of them on it. I'm like, that's his alter ego. He yeah. fucking with us, yo. It may be. Yo, yo son. Be. Be, I'm gonna make sure I find it so you, so you can hear it. Um, but Jay Electronica, that is. He has a way. Yo, son, un unparalleled than anybody. Only person I could say, like I said. I like the way Black Thought uses words, and because he he sounds like he's, he's he's giving you a full sentence, and all his full sentences is rhyming. He's not chopping up, accelerate, take the take the take. Now yeah. he's giving you a. I went to the store and picked yeah. up Doritos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, yeah. Open up the refrigerator. Painting that picture. He's painting yeah, everything. He's painting that picture. He's walking you through it. Yeah, he's painting that picture. You know what I mean? He ain't just throwing words in there that collide and sound great together. I could be biased though with um with the J Electronica joint because like I said, like I'm a dude that I like dudes that make albums, like rappers, rappers. I listen to a lot of that shit. Like one of the, you know who somebody that I really, I really like. Yeah. Like you have you ever heard Roscoe's first album? I like Roscoe's. Roscoe's like yo dudes like to me the genius first album. Genius you know, first album was classic, son. Nick with Swords. Oh my like, God, yeah. Son. And you know, how you call it, like, and a lot of people all, will be all, like, yo, all they can't of the get first into that. between Purple Tape to Cal, ODB Joint, um, Jizza, Inspector Deck, all of their first joints. Yeah. Classics. Bro. Yeah, yeah. And people slept on deck shit. Yeah. Oh, I was loving deck shit, yo. Yeah. They, I don't, I think, that's, that's what I said, like, I don't know. If five years from now I'm gonna be like, yo, put on it, put on the JLX -like album. That's why. It's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if it's because. And this thing about it, in this digital day five and age. Five years from now. Like, like right now, you could throw on the purple tape right now. Yeah, look at the sun. Yo. Yeah, this you, is beautiful. You could throw on the purple tape right now. Rock out to it. Like it's like it's when the purple like, tape came out, 93, 94, 94, or something 94, like that. 94, 95. Yeah, you could throw it on like it's that. Yeah, and still go in. Yeah. With it or whatever. So I'm thinking like yo, five, six years from now, am I going to be, or even then, the purple tape? What? Fifteen years? Fifteen years old, right? No, I think 15, it's twenty. Twenty. This is ninety five, two thousand five, two thousand fifteen. So, you see what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah. yo, so. You could you could you could throw the purple tape on now and still get in the same same zone, but yeah, you, with that J Black album, fifteen twenty years from now, it's gonna stand up to the test nah, of time. Only only Exhibit A and Exhibit C are two. <laughs> <laughs> yo, for ten years he put like one song so now, a year. Yeah, for ten years straight because he yo, signed think, with The Rock think in two thousand ten. Call it how high the ball was set with those songs though. Right, people was waiting around like yo, when is dude gonna put out? No, we this I, album? we all waited, we all waited. We no. didn't. We all waited. I wasn't disappointed, though. No. Nah, like I said, when I, after hearing all of what the song entailed, you know, I was saying to myself, this was a spiritual album. This is where he was, you know, wherever he goes off into this, in, into his world of disappearing acts, <laughs> you know, no one has seen him, wherever, wherever he's at, trust me, 
He got his Quran. He's probably listening to the minister. He's being creative because I'm sure he's probably somewhere in the studio mm -hmm. hearing all sorts of stuff, building with all sorts of people. Yeah. He's journeying, son. Yeah. That, that, that type of mind, I don't even know when his birthday, I would say if you, you know, I, I probably look deeper into that, but that type, somebody with that type of length, and he knows the length of where, he, he knows that. He knows I can go further. Yeah. Y'all are... Can only built for Cuban links. Twenty five years. Twenty five years. Twenty five. Twenty five joints later, we still could put that on. Twenty five years. And it stand the test I of time. I remember that for real. I remember where I was. Exactly. Hearing that, and we were playing that like crack. Yeah. That's the only thing that's yeah, playing. Yeah. So they, all day, all night. Yeah. Wow. Twenty. But that's what I'm saying. Like twenty five years from now, I don't know if this album. I'll be like, yo, I still gotta have. I used to. I used to like it. I used to like it. My neighborhood, like, Shaolin a little bit. Because we all had nicknames. Like, them niggas. <laughs> Johnny Blaze. Yo, son. We all had, everyone had a fucking nickname, son. No one was called their government name. Everyone had a, either half of the name is chopped off, or you something you did gave you a fucking name, son. And we lived, oh, yeah. and we lived in the hood where it had to have been, like, 5,000 Shaolin. So it was your know, Black Sean, Fat Sean, Lil Sean. Flat Top Sean, Sean this, Sean that, Chewy Sean. Yo, son. Yeah. It was just a bunch of fucking Sean's. Yeah, man. Yeah, bro. But, nah, I'm... I'm Back on the Black, with the black Agenda thing. they I just think, honestly, we... we now we have the time... And we should be using it wisely, being around family, re rethinking some things. If there is something that you wanted to do, like here we are doing this podcast at a time like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, where this is, this is a time to be creative. This yeah. is a time to really dig into yourself and pull something out of yourself, be encouraged to do something different, man. You know what I mean? I even talked with my godmother, I'm going to take an herbalist class. Nice. And learn and learn really learn about the herbs because I'm gonna really get into gardening, and when when we do decide to move from where we are, where the first thing we're gonna look is where we gonna start we're growing. Going, yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's why I love the fact that you can get, you get yeah. sunlight up and down. Yeah. Yo, son, right now is the perfect time to put some cucumbers right there, <laughs> my, my nigga. Yo, son, and and all and all summer you be, huh. Yeah. Right there, yo, because the sunlight is getting any fruit or vegetable that needs full sunlight. That's it, man. And, it, and and the same things you can do in warmer climates, you can do it in colder climates. You might have to build a greenhouse or something, mm -hmm. but there there are ways to you know beat the frost yeah. of the winter time, you know yeah. I mean? and, and still grow and have a great vegetable, man. Yeah. You think um, you think people are going to bounce back? You think people, well, actually, here's a better question. You think people are capitalizing on the economy being in the toilet as a result of the coronavirus as they, they should be? If you they, think all people are capitalizing? If, if, well, I'll say for those who are on their game, yeah, and making the necessary adjustments. I know a couple of people that call a couple of places and be like, yo, I, I, I can't send it right now. And they they got a, a ninety day leniency. Mm. Don't even worry about it. We you covered. You've been a good. You know what I'm saying? You've been mm -hmm. upstanding. You've never been late on the payment. We believe. We know that you'll be right back. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? For those who reach out to their whoever they're doing business with on that terms and keeping it real, those people are gonna they gonna strengthen those relationships. Anybody trying to get slick? <laughs> <laughs> The, you know what's bug? I was yeah, watching so, um It's just the way it is, man. Watching um CNN. You see Don Lemon Don, Don, Don Lemon. Get Don on Lemon. Don, get on the, the president. Yeah, but here's the crazy thing. Get on him. You hear about the two um Republicans that got caught with the insider training? Training? Oh. So what happened was they got briefed on the coronavirus way before it was made public. And as a result of it, they pulled their stocks. One one um one Republican senator pulled their stocks, sold them. Another one sold their stocks, but then bought shares 
and pharmaceutical <laughs> companies. You know, so now they're being investigated to see, you know, to to to, to see if in fact, right. you know, what they did was illegal. But on a smaller scale, like I, yo, I'm having conversations with people, and I'm telling people now, like yo, get the Robinhood app. There's there's stock. There's stock. Like yo, the um. The, the travel industry, like American Airlines, JetBlue, Delta, those are all shares that's like under $20 right now a share. And with them doing this this huge stimulus package to individuals, they're about to bail out. The travel industry, a lot of people are about to get bailed out. So when this stuff actually rebounds and the flights start taking off again and people are back on their trips and everything, it's going to be a couple of dollars to be made for people if they invest. If they invest now. Yeah, Absolutely. if they invest, you know, so instead of taking the 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 money and going out and getting your fresh pair of uh, uh, kicks or whatever, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, you would take that $150 and you could buy you a couple of shares of American Airlines, Delta, or whatever it is, you know. I was reading in the newspaper also that they were having a, um, a trial. Right. They were working on a, a trial jug for um, Corona. So automatically, my mind went to, I want to know who making this shit. <laughs> well, they, got, they got patents for all them shit. Yeah, man. but I went West and looked to see if it was a, a public public trading um, company and went and invested in them. So if it popped, you know how you call it. Why should why should other people be the only people to right. profit off of it? Right, right. You know, and it, the shares was dirt cheap too, dirt cheaper shares. So, you know, I'm hoping that people are now looking that's at that's an this, arena. Like, that's an arena that. I've always teetered, never really got. In terms of investment? Yeah. And the reason why, because I, I used to hang out with a dude that worked at T. Rowe Price. He loved that shit, son. Yeah. He come with his fucking, his iPad, and the whole screen is, <laughs> he's like, yo, Rob, yo, we gonna be billionaires, bro. <laughs> and yo, he was, and I just, I used to love hearing him talk. Like, yeah. this nigga is Bloomberg 101, like. <laughs> He had me believing, yo. He's like, yo, you know what? You need to buy the stock of the guys that, that make the glass for the phones. And he was showing me the chick that, um, who stock for, um, for, for pads, women's pads. Mm -hmm. He was showing me all sorts of shit. I'm like, wow, son. Yeah, nah, yo, you, you, nah, I'm son. You, it's, you a, it's, a, it's a lucrative way of, 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 uh, more another stream of income, man. Yeah. Where you just you and you leave that money and let exactly, it, and exactly. Don't touch it. Yeah. It's a long, it's a long game, and I think that that's what scares a lot of people off. But you throw a couple of dollars into it, and you you'd be surprised. Like there are, there are people that that had Apple stock when Apple wasn't shit. Like Tesla, Tesla now. I don't know what Tesla is at. Tesla at one point hit, I think, maybe like $700 a share, something like that. Yeah. It's down now. Everything down, Everything now. down now. But you think about if you, if you the initial investment might have been like $100, $100 a share, the shit go up to $700. You, buy, you invest $500 right there. You already made a couple of dollars. And if you win it for the long haul, there's money to be made in it. I think the trouble is a lot of people don't know what to invest in. And people fuck around and they invest in stuff that they like. Right, and how do you follow it? Where you show you got to show me trends and volumes, man. Yeah, you know what I mean, I need to, I need to see the whole report. Yeah, you got to explain it to me. I need a broker. <laughs> Yo, but you know what the crazy shit is in this day and age? Everything is done via the phone. So mm -hmm. literally through that through through the Robinhood app, you could go right through the app. Yeah, you so can I see. On my phone too. Yeah, you can see on the Robinhood app. You can see how much you invest in. You can see how much everything is a share. You could set um. You could set a, a, a buy to say like, all right, when the stock hits this amount, this is the amount I want to buy at. You could set sell when it when when the stock hits this amount, I automatically want to put my shares up for sell. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just something that a lot of people like. I, like I'm saying, like I made it a point. I don't invest in like a lot of shit that I personally like. I invest in shit that I'm like, all right, this is some shit that I know that other people will need. Sure, will. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you can follow some Bob people's, Bob. like, like Star, Starbucks, you know, um, Ford. I actually got, I got a couple of shares of that, too. You know, it's just, it's money to be made. And I think, like, the, the way the economy is now, we're in a position where a lot of, a lot of stocks have hit, like, all-time lows, where if you dump a couple of dollars into it and just sit, you could probably make a good profit off of it. So... 
But yeah, this is nah, some, uh, something, something, something to think about, man. Because I've always thought about it, and I've I always had pretty good energy with with things like that. Yeah. So. But yeah, this is this episode one. Yes, sir. We did it, bro. <laughs> the Rona, Rona clap. Yeah. The the the, the episode one. Um, this was a good thing, man. We. We chop, you know, we, we got some good stuff out of it, man. Yeah, we, you know, we'll be back at it for episode two. Keep building. That's it. We coming back, baby. Yeah, so look forward to everybody joining us for episode two. No ideas.